Humanity is obsessed with speed. We want the fastest cars, the fastest computers, the fastest internet. But we can't have all that, so we resort to video games. Because fast, smooth movement triggers something in our ape minds. And no games do it better than modern 3D platformers. This ape-like neuron activation is compounded by the existence of leaderboards, driving the human urge for competition. I love time trials in games, especially when those games are all about movement. My first ever experience with time trial leaderboards was surfing in Source games. And I must say, I'm not that bad. Although sprinting, sliding, wall running, wall jumping, climbing, and air dashing through a game is usually hit or miss for me. But there's one movement mechanic that will always make me happy when I see it in a game. Momentum-based grappling hooks. I'm not talking about your Just Cause or your Halo Infinite. I'm talking about games like Cyberhook, Verlet Swing, and Crumble. At this point, it may as well be a genre of its own. Personally, I just call them swing games. The earliest 3D game with momentum-based grappling that I could find is Spider-Man 2 on the PS2. Not only did they create satisfying swing physics, your webs also had collisions, wrapping around buildings when swinging around corners. It was revolutionary at the time, but it wasn't widely incorporated into games until independent game developers figured out that there's much more to do with the concept. You can even make a whole game based around it. And so they did, producing many great games as a result, and accidentally creating a subgenre. So, what does a game need to be a good swing game? It's rather simple. There are five things the game must have. One is swing physics. This one is pretty self-explanatory. Two is a leaderboard. A legitimate leaderboard helps you track your improvement and compare yourself against your friends. Three, a fast restart mechanic. Super important for giving a game better replayability and shows respect for the player's time. Four, a fail condition. Something that forces a restart, usually in the form of obstacles or enemies. Five, good air control feel. The player should be able to have a decent influence over their momentum and direction midair. Games without this will feel sluggish and stiff. All of these combine to make the most satisfying games I've ever played. And you should play them too.